In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to configure the desktop header options in Buddy Boss Theme 2.0. We have another video explaining how to configure the mobile header options, but in this video, we'll be focusing on the desktop header. In Buddy Boss 2.0, we've introduced a number of new header styles, including a new tab bar style, providing a similar experience to the tab bar in Buddy Boss app. A new header style with a dedicated search front and center in the header. And of course, we still have our normal menu style. We've also added an option to remove the logo from the header entirely, and instead we can move it into the buddy panel. And this option is now available to all header styles. There are many more header options as well including the ability to assign a custom menu to your mobile header, and the ability to customize these icons, and to customize this profile dropdown. So now let's jump into the WordPress admin so I can show you how to configure the desktop header and BuddyBoss theme. Here we are in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss theme options header, and from here we can configure the desktop header options. However, before we start exploring these header options, the first thing you want to do is to assign a WordPress menu to display in the header. To do that, you'll go into Appearance Menus, and from here, you could click to create a new menu. And then, once you've created a menu and added some menu items into it, you'll want to set its display location to one of these header menu locations. In BuddyBoss 1.0, we only had one header menu location, which displayed the same menu for both logged in and logged out users. However, in BuddyBoss 2.0, we've now separated this into two different header menu locations, one for logged in users and another for logged out users. If you want to display the same menu to both logged in and logged out users, just assign the menu to both locations, as I've done here. Alternatively, you can create two different menus and assign one to each location. After doing that, you should see your menu displaying in the header. You may also want to assign some icons to these menu items as I've done already in my menu, especially if you're planning to use the tab bar menu style. To add icons, you can just click this arrow to open any menu item, and then you can click here to add a new icon or to change the currently assigned icon. In BuddyBoss 2.0, we've introduced an entirely new icon pack with close to 500 new icons, and each with multiple icon styles. We have another tutorial explaining how to use all of the new options in the new BuddyBoss 2.0 icon pack, so make sure to watch that video if you're interested. After configuring our menus and icons, and assigning them to the correct header locations, we're now ready to go back into the theme options where we can configure the rest of the header options. For header style, you can see that we have four options. This first one sets both the logo and the menu to the left and it looks like this. You can see we have the logo and the menu set to the left. And we can also switch it from the standard menu style to tab bar. This will automatically hide the menu labels and display icons only in the header, similar to the tab bar in BuddyBoss app. Let's click Save Changes. And now let's refresh the front end. And now we are using this tab bar style menu with the icons aligned to the left because we are still using this first header style. We can switch to the second header style, which keeps the menu to the left, but centers the logo in the middle. So let's see how that looks. I'll click Save Changes, and I'll refresh the page. So now the menu is to the left, and the logo is in the center. And then we have this third option to set the logo to the left again, and this time the menus will display centered. This is basically the reverse of this second style. And let's click Save Changes, and we'll refresh the front end. And so now the logo is to the left, and the menus are centered. And in all of the styles I've just shown you, you can use this icon to perform a search. 
But if you really want to make the search bar the main focus of the header, you can use this fourth header style, which will display a big search input front and center in the header. So let's click Save Changes. And let's go check it out on the front end. So now we have this nice big search bar here. And as you can see, this style hides the menu from the desktop header. If you use this option, you would probably want to set up any important menu items in the buddy panel instead. While on the topic of the buddy panel, if you are upgrading from BuddyBoss 1.0, you may recall that in 1.0, we had another header style for displaying the logo in the buddy panel, which is no longer one of these options. We've moved that option into the buddy panel settings. We have this new option, show logo in buddy panel. By making this a general buddy panel setting, you can now use the setting with any of the header styles. So I've enabled it and let's click save changes. And then let's refresh the front end. And we can see the logo has been moved into the buddy panel. This is really useful if you have a large logo that would not look nice inside the smaller header area. And so now you have a bigger space in the buddy panel to put it. And if I close the buddy panel, we now have this even more minimalist header, and you can see the logo collapses into a smaller version in the buddy panel. This bigger logo, the same one we had previously in the header, comes from these logo settings. Whatever you set as the desktop logo displays in the header, or if moved into the buddy panel, it shows in the open buddy panel. And when we close the buddy panel, this smaller logo comes from your site icon the same icon that displays in the browser tab. You can set this at Appearance Customize, and once in there, you can click on Site Identity, and from there, you can update your site icon. Coming back to the header options, we can configure which components to display in the header. If I'm using one of these first three styles, I can toggle the search icon. In the fourth style, the search always displays large. I can also toggle messages and notifications. If I'm using WooCommerce, I can toggle the shopping cart icon. So let's disable the shopping cart and we'll click Save Changes. And then we can refresh the front end. And now we only have our search bar and our icons for messages and notifications. And then for the profile dropdown, we can set it to name and avatar, or we can display the avatar only. This is a new setting introduced in BuddyBoss 2.0. Let's click Save Changes, and let's see how that looks on the front end. And now we only have the avatar, or we could turn the avatar off completely. We can also customize the content of this profile dropdown. By default, the theme will auto-generate this dropdown for you, based on which components and settings you have enabled. But you can use a custom menu instead. To do that, let's go back into Appearance Menus, and I'll click to create a new menu. I'll call this menu Profile Dropdown. and I'll assign it to this profile dropdown at menu location. And I'll click Create Menu. And then I can add some menu items. I recommend using these BuddyBoss items. These are all logged in links, meaning they are for the logged in user and relative to that user's content. And so these items are perfect to add into the profile dropdown. Let's add Profile, Account, and timeline, and I'll scroll down here to also add logout. And you can see that for these top level Buddy Boss menus, we automatically add icons for you. And let's click Save Menu, and we'll refresh the front end. And now we have this much more minimal profile dropdown. If I click this profile menu, 
you can see it as a relative logged in link, taking me into my own profile. And then if I scroll down to advanced, these advanced options apply to both the desktop header and mobile header. Currently the header is set to be sticky, meaning it sticks to the top of the page, even when I scroll. It's also set to a height of 76 pixels and to show a drop shadow below it. We can disable the sticky header and disable the header shadow and I'll set the height to 60. And let's click save changes. And then let's refresh the front end. And now we have a much skinnier header at only 60 pixels tall. And when I scroll the page, the header scrolls with the page without any drop shadow.